like to discuss some special problems I've encountered growing lilies over the past 15 years. Believe me, there's no place like home when you have a garden filled with beautiful flowers that you can relax in. It is a pleasure to work with these the plants, but they require special knowledge and abilities. Some of the special problems start out with growing them from seed. I use a culture media of sphagnum moss with about 50% perlite and occasionally use a product called No Damp Off when I encounter a problem. I'd like you to post a comment. I'd like to discuss special problems and um, I hope you're familiar with different leaf germination patterns. Here we have a delayed epiglial seedling. Um, these are healthy lilies with healthy roots. I don't expect a whole lot of problems. They, uh, they appear to have a lot of promise. Here you can see the epiglial, epiglial leaf beginning to develop. Um, I have several hybrid lilies that are immediate germination and epiglial leaves. They are very hard to keep growing, so be prepared. I have a lot of problems with atretic roots or arrested root development. They do not grow, and overwatering them um, to encourage growth is actually um, a mistake. Um, you, you see the healthy roots that are growing and the, uh, the previous atretic uh, root. Here is um, a lily. All my lilies nearly died because of arrested root development. Do not overwater. I saved them all by putting them in um, a relatively dry 50-50, no damp, and uh, perlite mix. Here we have genetic variations in size morphology. The coveted dwarf represents a special problem which requires a lot of attention. The slow growth presents many disease obstacles to overcome. Another problem is unlocking dormancy or avoiding dormancy. There is a vigorous seeding that is in dormancy. Here is vigorous, healthy, non-dormant plant. This one is doing very well. Breaking dormancy and retaining active growth is a problem. Please post your comments about germination and development of growth. I have another problem that's arrested root development. Here we have a typical early delayed epiglial leaf compared with arrested root development of unknown cause. The arrested growth development presents a very special problem. You need roots growing to balance your development with your leaves. Atrophied roots invite disease and rot. Post a comment about arrested root development. Compare the root appearances. The foreground is healthy. The background, the darkened tips, represent atrophied root and, uh, and arrested development. Here we have a rotted scale, but a healthy root that's arrested. Is this disease or a special problem of development? Arrested growth or just a phase of development? Lilies are a joy to work with. I've enjoyed um, coming home and spending time with these flowers in my garden, but they require a lot of care, a lot of special attention and knowledge. Please post your comments about arrested growth um, or development, nutritional needs, hormonal or bacterial problems. Thank you.